Welcome to Kauai. One thing I learned traveling solo around the world to 32 countries by myself is this. I learned to really enjoy my company. At first when I started it felt a little bit awkward and where is someone to talk to? But guess what? I started to really enjoy the silence to hear my own thoughts and my own guidance, my own insight. And it deepened my connection with myself. It made me a stronger person because I did have to reach out to people if I wanted to make friends. And it's easy to do that because when I first started I was staying in hostels and trying very hard to stick to a small budget. We're gonna do that in another video, uh, trailing on $30 a day. And you can do it. I didn't know because I used to spend $500 a day on my vacations. So the one thing that was so beneficial for me is the enjoyment of my own company. And then it made me realize that you're always going to be with yourself. So you might as well be really good friends with yourself. And once you strip off your whole life and go to a completely foreign, different country where you don't know the language, you've never used the money, you don't know these people. This is a completely unknown place. You discover who you are in a very different way. And I can't recommend it enough. I do say a lot, oh, it's not for everybody, but you know, I feel that what you get from it is such a wonderful thing that it's worth giving it a shot to see how it's going to affect you. Now, the first couple of big trips I went in, went on, I didn't completely feel that way. I found myself making friends because I was lonely, but now I make friends because I'm curious and I'm interested. I don't have any filters about, oh, I can't talk to that person. I just start talking. And if they don't want to talk, they won't. But I do find that people traveling are very open-minded. And a lot of times people living in the country, the local people, want to talk to you and go out of their way. Burma, Colombia, Nepal, so many countries where the people reach out to you because they are so kind-hearted, they want to practice their English, they want to make a connection with someone from another world. That's how I feel it is. And you can't really get that in a device. You can't totally get that in something like this. When you come eye to eye with a person from another world, and you're almost an alien to them, you start to see both yourself differently and them. Well, of course, you didn't know them before. But when you go back to your familiar environment, you'll have a different perspective. I lived in Silicon Valley for 29 years, and my very first big trip when I came back, I had a completely different perspective about where I lived, what I was doing, how I related to people, and I found that my intuition had sharpened and that I didn't have to just use it for travel. A little bit sunny. I didn't have to just use it for travel. I could use it in my everyday life on everyone to feel out uh, who might be a good friend, who you might want to be romantic with, a business endeavor, a client. So that's the one thing that I can pass along after traveling solo around the world twice, buying one-way tickets along the way with no itinerary. One of the best things I've ever done in my whole life. So questions below. Ask me anything you want. Um, if you're thinking about going on a world trip, you don't have to buy those round-the-world tickets. I went around the first time for 3000 buying one-way tickets, and then the next time I did it, it was 1800 So you get smarter about the tickets. You don't have to do that round-the-world crap, because 
the thing is you don't know really how you're going to fall in love with each area and you might want to spend longer and you might want to spend less. So have a wonderful day and stay in touch. Join me on Facebook and uh, comment below. Subscribe with more coming to have fun together. Enjoy. So here I am traveling the world, Nepal, and all of the places that I talked about in the video. Wonderful places to travel on. $30 a day, which is in another video, but um, India and the Himalayas. Talking to everyone, this beautiful lady in Thailand. And then teaching around the world, teaching photography in private sessions in both Belize and Guatemala and having an incredible time. Hey, you can do it too. Check out, and here I am where I live now, in Kauai. Check out my books on Amazon and get inspired to go on your own journey. You can do it.